17 has actually updated its store so we have more products for sale um the products that i do want to display is probably probably my favorite products as well are these two pieces perfect for summer obviously very stylish looks very comfy and um yeah so make sure you check out section 17 link in the description box below and without further ado let's get into the video okay okay after high demand after popular request after being bombarded with endless comments yeah it's fine here how to have Italian drip I can't lie one of the main reasons why I've been putting off making this video is because in my personal opinion Italian fashion is like the godfather of fashion they've introduced so many like different styles different trends and you know I wanted to do this video justice so that's the reason why I've been putting it off there is just so many different dimensions when it comes to Italian drip and they're probably the front runners when it comes to like smart slash like prestige outfits. For example, these type of outfits like they're just so classy and just so high end that not many other countries can really compare. I'm not saying Italy invented this look but they definitely do it the best. But with that being said, fuck all that yeah, you lot come here for drip yeah, you lot come here for certified streetwear Italian drip. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. But just a quick one, follow all of my socials down in the description below, especially TikTok and Instagram. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. Alright cool, let's start off with the shoes first and then we'll make our way up to the top. Very popular shoes that I do see Italian people wear are the Nike TNs. Very, very cold shoe, I can't lie to you. And I did mention this shoe in the How to Have French Drip video. And French people and Italian people have sort of similar drip. And also, when it comes to Italian shoe game, yeah, they absolutely love their designer shoes. I want to say the main designer shoes that they wear are probably Dior, Gucci, definitely Gucci, yeah. Like, Italian people love Gucci, uh, Versace, and also Dolce & Cabana. Italy is the only country that I really know that actually fully rep Dolce & Cabana. Like, obviously, singular people, you know, might, might rock it, but it is very popular in Italy. And also, you've got the basic shoes that, you know, majority of countries wear. Obviously, Air Force 1s, Jordan 1s, and also Jordan 4s. And there's this other Jordan shoe that don't really get much love, and I don't know why, because it's such a hard shoe, and that is the Jordan 13s. In my personal opinion, this is a very underrated Jordan and I don't really see many people rocking it, but I do see a lot of Italian people wearing it. Alright, now let's move on to the trousers. The type of jeans that I do see a lot of Italian people wear are ripped jeans. If you want Italian drip, yeah, you have to have ripped jeans. There is no way around it, yeah. You need to look like you've been in a fight with Edward Scissorhands. And also, if you want maximum Italian drip when it comes to jeans, you have to have the rips and then underneath the rips, you've got to have some sort of pattern. And I can't lie to you, I rate this style of jeans differently. Jeans that a lot of Italian people wear are Amiri jeans and also Diesel jeans. Diesel is actually an Italian brand, so it makes sense. And also Armani jeans. Alright, cool. And now let's move on to the tracksuits. Alright, cool. So the first tracksuit, this isn't really, you know, Italian drip. This is more or less like worldwide drip. And yes, you guessed it, Nike Tech fleece. This is a drippy tracksuit, but every other person in the entire world has one of these. So, you know, I'm not really going to talk about it like that. However, this next tracksuit, yeah, everyone has to say thank you to Italy for actually, you know, introducing this tracksuit to the world. And the tracksuit that I'm talking about is a Palm Angel tracksuit. Palm Angels is actually a Italian brand, so it does make sense that a lot of Italian people wear this. And this tracksuit is such a certain tracksuit. It's, it's just so clean. I love the old English font that it has on the logo. It's sort of like a baggy fit and yeah, it's just a cold tracksuit. Other tracksuits that Italian people wear are Lacoste tracksuits and also football tracksuits. You can sort of see the resemblance slash similarities with French drip and Italian drip now. And when it comes to the football tracksuits, you don't really see many people in the UK rocking it. It's, it's more or less like a European thing apart from like the UK. Obviously, the UK football scene is very big and I'm not really sure why like the UK don't really rep football tracksuits like that. However, in Italy, they make these tracksuits look so drippy, it's not even funny. Other tracksuits that I see a lot of Italian men wear are designer tracksuits, mostly Gucci to be fair, and also Versace tracksuits as well. Alright, cool, moving on to the tops now. If you want Italian drip, yeah, you have to have some sort of designer top. Designer tops such as Gucci, Dior, Montclair, Off-White and also Dolce & Cabana. Also, another style of top they actually wear are these long sleeves and also these like silky sort of shirts. And I can't lie to you, I rate these silky shirts differently. I'd probably say the one that comes to my mind are uh, Versace shirts. And also, when it comes to hoodies, I want to say they mostly wear is Gucci and Off-White. If you don't know, Off-White is actually a Italian brand. I know obviously Virgil Abloh is American or whatever, but Off-White is actually a Italian brand. And speaking of brands, before we get into the accessories, let's go over to the brands they actually wear. Alright, so the main brands that Italian people wear are probably Gucci, Off-White, Dior, Versace, Dolce & Cabana and obviously Moncler. 
And in my opinion, all of these brands are certified brands. Maybe not Versace. You know, you already know what I think about Versace, but that is that is a video for another day. But speaking of brands, yeah, this is just like a little flow chart of actually like Italian brands. And you can see the amount of influence that Italian like fashion actually has. Obviously, you've got so many brands that just come out of Italy. And, you know, this, this is why Italian drip is actually up there in terms of, you know, fashion. All right, cool. Let's move on to the accessories now. Starting off, we have the bags. And I'd probably say there's only really two types of bags that I see a lot of Italian people wear. And those are the man bags and the messenger bags. And yes, all of these bags have to be designer. You know, you can't really be rocking around with a Nike or Adidas bag. Like, it don't really sit right and it's not really drip like that. All right, cool. Let's move on to the jewelry now. Starting off with the chains. When it comes to chains, yeah, like, they're just simple chains. They're not really, like, out there like, like that. Like, compared to America, you see people with, you know, big pendants, massive chains. But in terms of Italian, like, you don't really see, like, big chains. It's just more just a subtle chain, if that makes sense. And also another chain that I do see a lot of Italian people wear. I'm not sure if it actually come from Italy, but the chain that I'm talking about are these trouser chains. Basically just chains just attached to like your trousers. And I think that is so cool and, you know, very creative way of like, you know, having a chain. And also rings, yeah, Italian people love their rings and it looks so classy and it's such a like a subtle flex to have like a lot of rings on your hands. And then when it comes to like coats and jackets, there's only really one sort of brand that you can go with in terms of Italian drip. And that is a certified Monclizzi. Because obviously Moncler is an Italian brand so it makes sense for them to rep that. And also I want to mention three other brands that Italian people do wear. And this is drip yeah but this isn't necessarily Italian drip. This is sort of like the UK influence in like Italy if that makes sense. Alright so the first brand we have is Trapstar. And I'm not even joking Trapstar is fully taken over Europe like there is no question about it. You see a lot of man rocking the coats and also the jackets. And also the man bags yeah the, the Trapstar man bags are actually goated. And also, how could I forget the Trapstar tracksuits go so hard. And also, the next brand that is basically making waves in Europe is obviously none other than Cortez. If you want drip in Europe, yeah, you have to get yourself a pair of Cortez cargoes. Like, there is no question about it. And recently, Cortez has actually done a collaboration with Nike. They released, I think, three pairs of Air Max 95s. And also another UK brand that I see a lot of European people wear. This isn't really that pop. I mean, it is popular in the UK, but it's sort of like the laughing stock of obviously streetwear brands in the UK. And the brand that I'm talking about is Hood Rich. Don't get me wrong, Hood Rich is actually a certain brand, but in terms of how the UK views Hood Rich, they sort of view it as like a carbon copy of Trapstar. Like, people in the UK wouldn't really class Hood Rich as, like, a drippy brand. It's sort of just, like, a casual fit. But I know in Europe, Hood Rich is actually, like, very big. But let me know if I missed anything. I definitely did. And I did try to make this video, you know, that represents Italian drip to the fullest. I probably missed out on a whole bunch. And literally, I wanted to do this video justice. And I think I did. Nah, 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 nah. I'm straight up lying. I know I didn't. You know, I feel like I could have, you know, talk, talked about a lot more like outfits and a lot more, you know, fashion. But I think I did all right. Um, let me know down in the comment section below and uh, if you do like the, these type of videos I've got a whole playlist dedicated to these type of videos on my channel check them out and without further ado I'm out